Okay, so here's a quick attempt at showing how to use the command box in Windows to open up multiple files in DS9. We saw Louisa do this with her computer. Uh, she was using a Mac. I think it's easier to do on a Mac, but uh, I figured out a way to do this with Windows. Um, this website that's up here, this is the one that was most helpful to me. And uh, I have some notes and there'll be a link in the notes to this and uh, some other things. So um, first thing, the command box, if you're not familiar, uh, you can push the little Windows button. Um, this is the Windows symbol here. So look for the little key in the bottom left that looks like that. Push that and the X at the same time. Uh, Windows X command prompt pops up. Uh, you're going to see that here actually. And so what this does, uh, this is nice because it allows you to just type in commands and do things directly without using a mouse or any of those types of things. It's kind of a throwback to the old days of computers and DOS, I, I suppose, uh, though I've forgotten all that since college. Um, so for instance, um, what you can do is you can type in start sl uh, space slash ds9 slash ds9.exe. And what that will do is uh, it says start and then it goes to this folder and into this file and it opens it. And if I hit enter and I wait, uh, it's going to open up ds9. So I'm going to wait just a minute and... DS9 should pop up in the background. It's here. Uh, it's blank. There's nothing in there, but that's a good start. Um, turns out you can open up files and, and do lots of things automatically from the beginning if you just have a couple simple commands. Uh, but the commands can get kind of long, and typing those is really cumbersome. So the nice thing is to create shortcuts or, or aliases, and that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. So I'm going to close this command box. And I've got another one open. I'm going to close that one as well, just to make sure it doesn't interfere. And there's another one. Sorry about that. OK, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you, uh, this is just a, a file in Notepad that I created. And again, from this website back here is where I got the information. Um, DOS key is a command that's going to be used to just create the alias. So for instance, FC, uh, in this case, it's going to represent um, folder finder chart. So CD means change directory. So I'm telling Windows to change to this particular folder, user Johnson, such and such find, finder chart. Now to show you what that looks like, uh, let's go back and find that. I believe is that in my documents. It's uh, here. So I have a folder called finder chart. I'm going to click on that. Now, one useful thing to do is if you, so up here you'll see the, you know, the, the folders, but if you just click on the side, you'll see the path. So you see um, users, Johns, documents, finder charts. So that's what you see here is that path. So sometimes you can just copy and paste. You don't want the C that happens in the front. Make sure you don't include that because that's not necessary. So what's nice about this these two lines and really you only need these top two lines for now I, I believe that as we go on we're going to be able to amend these and make them much more useful but this is just a quick startup um, these two you don't worry about those are just some things i was playing with to make sure it worked um, but finder chart this will be a, a folder with for instance all the finder chart files and you can do it for scuba or, or whatever so it's important first well well i guess we'll look at that in a minute so here this is the other alias you're going to need so ds9 is just the command that I want to be able to type. And when I type that, everything will start up for me. So start ds9.exe. And then as you start, you're going to tell it to open scale mode Z scale so that they look better. And then you're going to see FC1. So this part, this just refers to the fact that in this finder chart, you're going to notice that these first set of files all FC1. So this is when we went back to our resolution worksheet. This was image one. Um, and when I downloaded them all, this is the way it named them. So this is just FC1, and this will open all of these. Um, you see FC2 here, and there's three all the way down to, I believe, seven. Uh, so that's a really useful feature. And so I'm just going to do FC1 in my folder. And then the, the star, the asterisk, is going to just say open anything that fits that first part. Don't worry about the, the ending. So that's really helpful. 
So you can just copy and paste this from the notes. You're going to have to make sure that these are specific to your folders um, and in your locations and, and such. But it, you know, as long as you do that, it's pretty simple. You want to save, save as, and then I called it aliases, and then um, you want .bat for batch. When you do that, uh, you're going to hit save. I save this. I'm not sure which folder this is in, but I save this in my my Windows folder, my user folder. Um, you hit save. You save it. I've already done that, so I'm going to hit cancel. If I come down here, you're going to see. Um, I'll show you where mine happens to be. It's in Windows. Uh, users. John's. So mine is here. This is my folder. And you'll see the code there. So what I'm going to do now is now that I have that folder saved and it, it's there, I'm now going to go um, in my Windows, back to, back to Windows. I'm going to go to the Windows. And I need to find the, the command file that opens command, the command window, so the, the uh, dot, dot .exe file. So system32, open that, and then system32 again. And then here you basically have to scroll down past all the folders. It's pretty far down. Probably faster to do this way. Suppose get past all this. And then once you get there, it'll be a lot easier to see because you'll see the little icon. It should look familiar to this one. So just CMD, see the little icon, kind of looks like um, the command folder icon that will appear down here. Once you get here, you right click. And you go to properties. No, you don't go to properties. Uh, mistake. Do that later. You right click and you go to create shortcut. So you click so you can do it in this folder. I can do it on the desktop, which is what you want. So you hit yes. I've already done it, so I'm gonna hit no. Once you do that, I'm gonna come down here in the bottom corner. I'm gonna go to my desktop. There is a folder here, a file, shortcut. Um, and what'll happen is now I need to right click on that. Go to properties. And then what you need to do is in this box that says target. So what yours probably is going to look like is just this part. That should already be there. What you're going to want to do is add this piece. And this is the location. So the, the slash K is your, I believe that's to append. So you're going to add that to the, to the files that are already there. Uh, and what you're going to need to do is it's your path. So if I go back to if you see where I had this so here's my folder right so if I click up here you're gonna see this path so users Johns that's what needs to go here so users Johns and then alias .bat. so that just gets appended to this file you hit OK and now that's great because when you double click this folder it's going to open up command but it's gonna read your your um, your file, your batch file, and it's going to add that. So now your shortcuts are here and you can see them listed, which is great. Now the FC is here. What The reason we need that is because FC, I type that, it's going to change the window to um, the folder, the finder chart folder. So now it's in the finder chart folder so that later when I type in DS9, and uh, if you take a look at the DS9, just real quick, um, DS9, and it's going to say open up FC1. So now it's in that folder. It'll, it'll see those, those files. So when I do that, I'm just going to hit enter. Then you wait. And uh, it's going to open DS9 with every file in that folder that starts with FC1. And you see that here. And this looks like what we've seen Luisa do. And that's pretty great um, because that's really helpful. And I know in the future, um, Luisa can help us with other features to add to this. There are, um, I did find a website that had lots of commands for DS9 and how to script DS9 from, from a command box. So I think that'll be really useful moving forward in the future. Um, probably can run a regions file from here as well. So anyway, I hope this is useful and um, this will help you. I have notes that are attached to this. You can copy and paste just as well. Um, and that'll be it.